the darkness is where we go for our answers. The Bible calls it human wisdom, man's perspective. When you go to the darkness, you leave the light and the light won't chase you. You gotta come to the light if you want to experience daytime in your life. But if you go to the dark, see, cause a lot of us hang out with dark friends. A lot of us listen to dark advice. A lot of us live on earthly wisdom. And we wonder why we don't hear from heaven, the sky doesn't open up, and we don't experience this day star rising in our heart because we exit the light because we're so used to hearing from the darkness. And once you leave the light, the darkness will be the one informing you. Colossians 3.16 puts it this way. It says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. That means, that means be full of Christ's word operating inside of you. When you're in trouble with the law, you don't just need a law book, you need a lawyer. When you're sick, you don't just need a medical man, you need a doctor. When criminals are coming after you, you don't just need a penal code, you need a policeman. In other words, you need the visible manifestation of what has been recorded in the document. The Bible is the inerrant word of God. It records perfectly everything God wants you to know, but having the Bible doesn't turn what you know and what it says into your experience. So what you want is more than information, you want a face-to-face -face experience. What God is inviting you to is that. He says, I want you to read about me in my word up front. I want you to do it first, but then I don't want you to be satisfied simply with what the Bible says. I want what the Bible says to cause you to pursue a relationship with me. And if you will pursue a relationship with me based on what the Bible says, you will discover I am what my profile declared me to be. And you will experience heaven open and you will see God face to face for yourself. He wants to bring you into an experience with him.